Two wheels is so much quicker than anything else, but a push bike was always the quickest way about. Now, something you put in your pocket would be great. Get it out of the other end and off you go. But the trigger for it was a meeting with an Australian who was trying to get a portable bike off the ground. But it was quite awkward to fold and unfold and very flimsy. And I said to myself, well, there must be another way of doing this. What has enabled the bike to come into being is a huge industry built around refining all the manufacturing processes that go into making all the things we take for granted, whether it's a saddle or a brake or a chain, incredibly cheaply. We're a small company that's grown sort of organically. The designers that romped and do the concept, prototypes, detailed design. You then design the jigs and fixtures that are going to make it and the assembly processes. So you're really responsible for the whole thing. I was interested only in one thing. Does it work? That has informed everything I've done. I've never been interested in looks, just is it a pleasure to use. When we do things that we think will be durable and useful, rather than designing for sort of fashion, and we want to make a tool that will last somebody a long time and will do a good job for them. I was obsessed with making it easy to fold and small. Everything had to be reduced in my design efforts to an easy, doable operation with the crudest of tooling. Complexity, by definition, is cost. Getting rid of any surplus stuff on the bike design was a, a key to it. And that, of course, stands you in good stead long term. If it works with crude tooling, it's going to be cheap for anybody else to make in the long run. Bit by bit, we've designed our own brake cutters, our own brake levers, our own tyres, our own crank, our own chain ring, our own derailleur mechanism. Over time, we, we've got the bike better and better and better. And indeed, we've gone down the road of putting lots of special colours on the Bromptons. They're rather fun and people enjoy using them. The Brompton is fundamentally different to what exists out there. It's enjoyable to use. I mean, I love using my bike. It's brilliant. It gets me around and I whiz around all over the place on it. The customers came through the door and we got some really nice publicity and some quite big name papers, both in the bike press and in the Evening Standard and the Financial Times. But it was a product that caught people's imagination. So batch by batch, a hundred at a time, I sat making these things. I couldn't make enough. If I meet somebody using a Brompton, one of the huge sources of satisfaction is when they turn around to say that they really enjoy using it. And that was one of the things that drove me forward. We have about 1,200 parts that come into us. We may have 120,000 drawings that define the bike. We've probably got 800,000 drawings that define the machines and tools that we use to make the bike. So whilst there's some knowledge in the bike, there's far more knowledge in how we make it. Engineering underpins everything. What people don't seem to realise is Britain's number six in the world's league of players and manufacturing. We're world class in defence, Formula One, in a whole range of areas of engineering. We are the best. This is an opportunity to really take advantage of what we're good at, to innovate, to create businesses that add value. We're obviously per capita producing a lot of manufactured goods. Self-sufficient, great team, run it. Great service, tick, tick, tick. In parallel with that, we've been working on new products, new ideas, new innovation. Within three to five years, we, we have come out with some really quite awesome innovations and products and new ideas. The Brockton is much more on the map now than it was two and a half years ago. So we've had a high profile, certainly in the UK, but also abroad. It's expanded our markets, we've got radical changes in plan for the factory, which I think are absolutely critical, and one or two quite major development projects going on. We want to make the bike lighter, we want to make, make the bike easier to use, um, more ergonomic. We are working on things like electric propulsion, um, because the bicycle is a mode of transport, a tool for getting about. Uh, an electric motor, some kind of assistance, we think makes quite a lot of sense for the people that buy our bike. Um, and beyond that, we think we can do some interesting things with the products that go with the bike, perhaps the clothing that you wear when you're commuting, um, and doing some, some clever things there. We've been fiddling around with it, getting it to where we want to be for about the last five years. We're nearly there. I enjoy what I do, and I can see there's an awful lot of scope for new products. It's sufficiently popular for us to realise that there's a lot of untapped potential in this product still. We could, in 20, 30, 40 years' time, be a serious player in changing the way people get about their daily lives in cities. Well, I come into work looking forward to the day, optimistic about what the company can do. Brompton has, I think, still got a, a, a solid future ahead of it.